Jet flame, soft flame, jet flame, soft flame, jet flame, soft flame. Wait, haven't I done this before? Hello and welcome back everyone. In today's episode, I wanted to show you this Zippo insert that I bought recently. And as you can recall from my previous videos, this isn't the first switchable lighter that I have had and I have presented on this channel. But I wanted to show you the interior, how it works, the things I like about it, some things that may, you know, may need some improvement, and my overall point of view of it. Now, as you know, as you all probably know, I have uh, Zippos that use lighter inserts, meaning these are not um, uh, the original liquid fuel liquid liquid fueled zippo lighters that that they are known for rather they are um, butane fueled lighter inserts that allow you to carry your zippo lighter like any ordinary butane lighter now these two this one being the vector and this one being the new one the new kit on the block are not official zippo made products but this particular lighter which I've also featured in another video is a, a Zippo um, product and I'm going to compare this new one to these two but let's get these two out of the picture for now and let's take a look at this now the name of this lighter um, I'm having trouble pronouncing it but it's spelled Y-U-S-U-D so I'm assuming it's Yust or something like that uh, as you can imagine, it is from um, overseas, it's from China, but it fits uh, US made, you know, original Zippo lighters just fine. Um, I bought this lighter, let me take it out of the, let me take the insert out. I bought this from Amazon for $12.88 plus tax and shipping if you're not a Prime member. And from what I can tell you, the manufacturer seems to put this uh, the way that they picture this on their little ad it seems to suggest that you can use this by itself without the the casing but i don't think that would make much sense since it would it fits the casing so well as you can see it just slides right in holds in nicely and then you activate the, the flame is activated by the cam um, and as soon as you open it you hit the spark and it fires up and by pressing this button you can switch the flames now before i go into things i like about this lighter i'll go over a few things i didn't particularly like so so to speak the cons uh, one thing that i was i would have liked of course as i always i'm kind of this is always my opinion I wish all the stuff I buy and review is made in USA, but unfortunately this is made in China. Um, another thing is that it came in this little box, and that's it. So this box was in a little bubble wrapped um, envelope, and that's, that's the end of that. I mean, it's not a big deal for me. I don't care for those boxes, but if it is something you were going to give to someone, it is not going to look that good. Um... I also kind of browsed through the the um, the reviews on Amazon, and I noticed people were saying they're having trouble having it light up, or having it light up in the wind. I haven't had that problem, so I can't tell you. I'm I'm very certain it's not windproof like your original Zippo is, because Zippos are made to be windproof. But this, I don't know. And the one thing I have noticed is, let me try to see if I can demonstrate it, it kind of booms on, I kind of did it right there too. When you turn, when you flick it on, it almost makes like a small, like a poof before it lights up. Well, not a big deal, but definitely if you are a smoker, hold it away from your face before you, you know, I would say like light it up, wait for it to settle down and then bring it up to light up your cigarette or your cigar, since you have your, you know, option of, switching the flames so <clears throat> with the things the little cons out of the way things i really like about it it is made of really good quality i'm surprised of how well this thing is built for its price 
Um, the instructions that came with it were very clear and I actually read through them and they mentioned that uh, it's best to keep the flame at that medium level for an easier switch back and forth and they specify to only use high quality butane like Zippo, Calibri, Ronson, uh, you know, don't buy cheap, cheap butane as it will clog up your lighter and you need to purge your insert before you start up your lighter so when you get your lighter take it outside use a small little flathead screwdriver to squeeze the let me show it down here um, squeeze that little uh, insert thing again holding it away from your face just I'll just show you like that you just squeeze that carefully and vent out the all the stuff that's in there that's being shipped to you because they ship it to you empty but it did kind of hiss when I did it after that you fuel it you let it sit for a few minutes and then you're good to go um, I also like the fact how well it switches you turn on the light and the switching is very smooth and you know with the other lighter that I had that was switchable you had to like finesse that thing almost kind of carefully press it to switch this one no you just squeeze the button it switches nice and nice and fine um, I like the fact that it sits so well in the lighter doesn't rattle or anything like that and it uses the cam which I wish the or official Zippo had done it as well you see the, you already have the cam why not utilize it to light up your lighter you know I understand that they wanted to add this little piezo thing fine but it would have been really awesome for Zippo if you could just flick this open and it would be already like fuel would be coming and you'd hit the button and when you'd let go the flame would keep burning that would have been really cool but alas they didn't do that but these guys did and it's quickly becoming my go-to carry lighter for everyday use so I might buy a second one it's that good <laughs> another thing that I wanted to mention is that you can if you wanted to use it by itself but I wouldn't because uh, if you carry this in your pocket lint and debris will definitely clog up those little nozzles so definitely get yourself a zippo even if it's a cheap one put your little insert in and then you're ready to go you know so yeah overall i really like this uh, lighter insert let me know what you think of it in the comments below and uh, if you would consider buying something like this or if you have any questions for me uh, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing and I will see you next time. Have a great day.